So, we briefly touched upon it there in the stocks, but US President Donald Trump has hailed his revamped North American trade deal with Canada and Mexico, saying it will help to boost the US economy. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn uh, to our man who gives us the international stories, Noah Aram. So, Aram, renegotiating NAFTA was one of President Trump's key campaign pledges that he banged on and on about, and now he's one step closer to fulfilling it. That's right, Mark. The fate of the new trade agreement was all down to an agreement between the United States and Canada. Mexico and the US already had an agreement. Trump had uh, threatened to switch to bilateral trade deals with Mexico and Canada, but a last-ditch agreement on Sunday between Washington and Ottawa managed to keep a trilateral deal. That new trade pact has been named the U.S.-Mexico-Canada Agreement, or USMCA, which President Trump says is the biggest in American history. The agreement will govern nearly $1.2 trillion in trade, which makes it the biggest trade deal in the United States' history. He also attributed the successful renegotiation to his hard-nosed negotiating tactics and his willingness to impose new tariffs. Without tariffs, you wouldn't be — we wouldn't be standing here. I can tell you Bob and all of these folks would not be standing here right now. And we're totally prepared to do that if they don't negotiate. Although the USMCA avoids tariffs, it will make it harder for global automakers to build cars cheaply in Mexico and is also aimed at bringing in more jobs to the United States. The pact also gives the US greater access to Canada's dairy market. However, the deal still needs to be ratified in Congress, which President Trump noted could be a challenge. The outcome of next month's midterm elections could affect how Democrats vote for the USMCA as they seek to regain majorities in the House and the Senate.